let your name be glorified in our life. Amen. Amen. All of our prayers. Thank Amen. you, Father. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. This afternoon, uh, this time, we uh, we want to pray together. And um, the theme of our prayers is lift up your heads, O ye gates. Lift up your heads, O ye gates. You will turn your Bible with me to the book of uh, Psalm 24, verse 7. The book of Psalm 24, verse 7. If you are there, say amen. Psalm 24, verse 7. Lift up your head, O ye gates, and be ye lift up, ye everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. That's all we want to pray with uh, tonight. And I pray that the Holy Spirit will empower you in the place of prayer. You will Amen. pray like you have never prayed before, and that prayer will eat grateful fruits in Jesus' name. Amen. You know, sometimes we keep complaining. We say, God does not answer prayer. Uh, I want to challenge you and ask you, have you ever prayed the way you never prayed before? You know, you see that challenge and you say, for me, I am convinced beyond a shadow of doubt that God answers prayer. And now, if I have been praying and God has not been answering that prayer, that is to say, I've always been praying like the other time. Now, if I want a better result, I should pray a better prayer. And this time around, mm -hmm. I, don't want to, I don't want to pray like I have somebody beside me. I don't want to pray like the result I've always been getting. I want to pray like I have never prayed before. Now, he said, lift up your head, O ye gates, and be ye lifted up, ye everlasting doors, mm -hmm. and the King of glory shall come in. Now, mm -hmm. this verse has a different uh, types of interpretation. It, 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 uh, it's mainly centered at uh, um, when you're talking about meeting with Jesus, when you're talking about salvation, when you're talking about intimacy with, with, with God, that's what they, they centered on. But uh, pe different people with different philosophy and different ideas have come up with different meaning and all that. But the part we are really going to hammer on today is this there are different kinds of gates to human's life as you are created you have begin a race and now the race you start from a, a small school to a bigger school to another school from there the next thing you want to get married the next thing you want to have children you talk of job you want to build house you want to buy a car, and so on. Now, each of these advancements, you will meet a gate. And if you cannot wrestle, that you will be able to penetrate through that gate, some people will remain in that bus stop. You want to talk about people, and as I am saying it now, you will be bearing uh, you you will be bearing witness of some of issues you have had before. You see, some people they go to school. They will never graduate to the level of entering into a college, or you want to call it high school, or high school to college. Yes, you will see some people we met ourselves in high school, but what about going to college? You won't see them. After that time, you see some people will graduate from college and we are to start work. Some people, they have started work five years. They have not, they have not even been a job. Some 10 years, they have not even gotten a job. Now some, what you even study in school is not what you are doing. 
Now, so, when you, you get a job, you want to marry, you want to get married, you'll be praying, Lord, show me the will of God. Let me know whom to marry. Maybe when you got your own, some people have not gotten five years after. Some people have not gotten ten years after. Some people finish school 15 years after they have not gotten married. These are another level of gates. Some people get married. And I tell you, you will even ask, my brother, are you sure this thing is up to nine months? They already have a child. But 10 years, some people have not given back. 15 years, some people have not given back. That is another gate. Some people, we started this race together. But you want to ask, where are they now? They are no more. That is another gate. Uh. You want to talk about different kind of signal. You say, brother, since I've known you. L let me tell you about one of my colleagues. When we were in college then, I, we discovered that when we are talking normally, you will see this guy will be talking and he's a very intelligent guy. But we discover that each time a lecturer enters into the class to teach us, this young man will be sleeping. Uh -uh. Then people are giving him a lot of drugs and a lot of advice and all that. Then I called this young man one day. I said, are you not seeing this thing as a body? Are you not seeing it as a gate? A gate that you have to penetrate through. He said, my brother, I've been seeing it to... I said, do you have faith? Can I pray with you? And I will tell you that after the prayer, you will no longer be sleeping where you are not supposed to sleep. The guy laughed mm. and he looked at me. He said, are you an apostle? Are you part of the, uh, the chosen apostle in the Bible? Are you a disciple of Jesus? He said, my brother, I said, let me tell you something. All these miracles you are seeing, he said they are stage managed. Those are the people that are using a uh, charm to work miracle. He said no other person can work miracle except, uh, except he's an apostle. Uh -uh. Look at the person I want to preach to. He's beginning to preach to me himself. Uh -uh. I said, what is the name of your church? He said, don't let us go into that. But what I want to tell you is, there is no miracle. It's only Jesus and the apostle that can perform miracle. Then he began to go into so much. He was putting a lot of things through. I said, this one does not exist. This one is just fake. This one is not working. This one is a sin. Ah. I said, okay, sorry. Sorry for uh, uh, intruding in your personal life. So I left. When we were writing exam, this young man was sleeping. That is a gate on his own. Now, if that gate is not removed, that person will remain at that bus stop of the gate. You are not moving forward and you are complacent. You are not getting what others are getting in terms of advancement. And you are not seeing it as a gate. Bible says, this guy goeth not forth. Or by prayer and fasting. And sometimes it's not just the gentle prayer. And sometimes it's not just the fellowship prayer or the church prayer. Sometimes you will need to sweat like as if you just you, 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 you just shower. And this moment, what we want to approach this afternoon, this moment, this season, is that gate. Whatever gate that has sat as your own boss talk. They say he will never advance, he will never have children, he will not have this, he will be subjected to death, different kind of death. I will tell you today that once that gate is taken away, who is it that says when God has not said? Mm -hmm. Finally, I, I will challenge you with this. <laughs> when Samson was coming out from the hollow place, the enemy already surrounded him and said, this is the best time to strike this person down. And he was binded with a gate. Let me see how you will pass through this gate. Mm. The power of God came upon Samson. 
And Samson got there. And Samson carried the gate. Not only the gate, he carried the pillar. Do you want to understand such anointing? Do you want to try that kind of power? If you, if you, if you carry that kind of power today, there is no kind of gate. I gate, a lofty gate, a natural gate, a normal gate, not one can stand before you today. Amen. We are going to pray and tell the Lord. Hmm. Every gate that the enemy has laid in, in terms of power, stumbling blocks, I command that gate to be broken to pieces now. Shall we open our mouth and pray? In the name of Jesus, I am asking. In the name of Jesus. Uh, that gate will be broken to pieces. That, 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 that place of God did not put a stumbling block before you. Before me. Lord. It's not that casting a barrier that, upon you. That say I will not give you a text. Oh, oh my that gate of sickness. In the name of Jesus. I walk in that gate. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. In the name of Jesus, amen. One of the major gates. One of the major gates that in that man's kind, man, mm -hmm. man, that in that man is our understanding. I was uh, I was to uh, counsel a, a man of God from another uh, uh, from uh, another church, and so he met me in our church on one Sunday for counseling. So while I was discussing with him, he now brought up a topic. And I, and I said, hold on, let us understand ourselves clearly today. I said, sir, do you believe in predestination? He said, yes, of course. I believe in predestination. Ah. I said, please, in this predestination you are talking about, let us understand it clearly. Are you saying that somebody can be righteous and God will carry that person and throw that person to hell? He said, yes, sir. Ha. He said, that is why you see, he now began to bring some different uh, people in the Bible who did well, but never, well, like Moses, who did well, never got to the promised land, after so much begging and all that, begin to say a lot of things. I said, so, the part that God can take the righteous person and throw it to hell, you believe in that one? He said, yes. He said, that is what we call predestination. He said, that is why my case, the case I brought to you, I believe that it is God that make it so. Then the question is, why are you then here? And the question I'm asking you today, if you do not believe that that gate can be taken away, then why are you in this prayer meeting tonight? And that's why I have, you know, I have once challenged you that once you come to a platform like this, if it is not that necessity is laid on you to be on mute, I don't expect you to be on mute. Because we want to come together in prayer. We want to package those things together and send it to heaven. Say, Lord, look at what I am going through. If you do not believe in predestination, <laughs> you don't believe that God can carry the righteous person and throw that righteous person into hell, then wh yeah. why are we even going to church? Why are we serving God? <laughs> Since we know that there is predestination, I cannot yeah. stay in my house. If I will go to heaven, I will go. If I will go to hell, I will go. Then why am I preaching? I say, my brother, it is very key. And this man is a minister. I'm telling you something. Mm. Oh, bro. So, we are here today to do a process called fight to finish. Because there are some things in our life that is not in alignment. And this is the gate we are talking about. It must be broken. It must be broken. Thank you. Yes. We are going to break every demonic gate tonight in the name of Jesus. Amen. You are going to cry unto the Lord and see every gate, any demonic gate 
that is standing on my journey to success. Holy Spirit, I break it down today. In the name of Jesus, for several years. He can hold a captive for a lifetime. That person will just be struggling, but he will never get there. He will be seeing the promised land afar off, but he will never get there. That gate can hold you down for 10 years, 30 years, 40 years. You know what you want to do, but the ability to do it is not there. That is the strength and the power of the gates. You are going to pray tonight and tell the Lord, Holy Spirit, empower me tonight to destroy this gate. Empower me to destroy this gate that is standing before me. Please open your mouth and pray that prayer. The gate should be standing against God's children. Empower me now. That gate must be broken. If you do not have power to break it, if you do not have power to remove it, you will only discover that you have become a victim. A victim of that gate. That's why you see many people remain under a bondage. Have you created me to come and suffer? 
we are going to pray and serve the Lord. Any gate that say I will not prosper. Any gate that say I will not make progress. Any gate mm. that say I will not reap the reward of my hands. That say my children will not move forward. Let that gate pieces now in the name of Jesus. Please open your mouth and pray. You labor and labor and labor, there is nothing to say for it. That's why you are sleepless nights. Nice. That's why we know God. That is why no say that not their God shall be strong and do as well. You know God. You know God. Then that gate should not be there. That gate should not be standing against you. It should not be walking against you. Somebody's gate will be removed tonight. Not just removed, but will be.
Lift up your hand, oh you get. And the unity of your kingdom. And the king of glory shall come in. And he is the king of glory. He is the one that has power to make way. Thank you. 
I command it to sickness and pain in my body. 
I want prayer for healing of every sickness and pain in my body. We want to pray for this person now. And as you pray for that person, that, that prayer will also be reflected in your life. In the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Amen.
Amen. I said you will not quickly say amen because you will be asking for 50 and 400. I mean, the Lord grant you your heart desire in the name of Jesus. Amen. Eternal Father, we thank you for this time. Thank you because you are God of this hour. The present help in time of trouble. Lord, we have settled our trouble before you. We now know that there is no gate standing before us because you have created us and opened up. Holy Spirit, Lord, we pray. No demon will close that door against us. As we have asked in your name, Lord, we pray you will answer us in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, we want to have enough testimony to carry to next month. We want to have a lot of breakthrough to carry to next month. A lot of connection to carry to next month. Divine healing to carry to next month. Holy Spirit, live among us in the name of Jesus. Amen. We well, thank you, Father, because we know it is done. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen. If you have been praying online and you have really prayed that you believe that God has answered your prayer, then give me a loud amen. 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 Over to you, Pastor Matthew. Over to you, Pastor Ali. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Uh, we we thank God for the uh, prayer meeting uh, this morning, and uh, we pray that the Lord God Almighty we actually uh, accomplish our prayer request in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Let's use this time before Pastor Matthew come up. Let's use this time before. We we come up. Let's pray for all the pastors, all the ministers in this platform. That the Lord God Almighty will strengthen them. Paul, the apostles, the brethren, pray for us. We're about to ask the Lord for all the ministers God has been using in this platform. That the Lord God Almighty will strengthen them in their inner mind. More, power, more grace, more Amen. anointing, more wisdom, Amen. more knowledge. Amen. More mm -hmm. entrance of the world among mm -hmm. miracle in their ministry. Let's pray for them. The hand of God will rest upon their life. In the oh, name of Jesus. Oh, 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 for all our ministers yes. have been using all the ministers that Lord have been using in this Praise the Lord. Father, bless them in the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank Jesus. God that you are hearing me. I was just running it as scatter so that I can be heard. The joy that Lord will continue to be our strength in Jesus' name. Amen. I want to appreciate Pastor Dapo for that powerful prayer. And I want to appreciate all our pastors for their love. The joy that Lord will continue to be with us in Jesus' name. I, recently, I listened to a musician uh, when he was being interviewed. And uh, he was one of those musicians that asked him in Nigeria. And then he just made a pop album, and then he stopped. He was forced to make another album. The album couldn't make it. Then the person asked him, why, like all other people, you are not making plenty album, many album? Then he said, you know, uh, are you not having producer? You know, most of those musicians, 
they are not the one that compose the songs. The somebody will compose for them, then they will come and sing it. Yeah. He said, I don't like uh, a lot of producers have come to me and they said this, they said this, I send them away. Because I can only sing from my personal experience. I can't sing from any or any producer experience. And that one let me come back to on Thursday. Uh I will not defeat you. I want to appreciate all our pastor. I see my little <laughs> empire collapsing before me. My mm. head was totally gone. Mm. When you are talking about two very powerful attack, mm. uh, we are talking about diabetes. We are talking about high blood pressure. Mm -hmm. And then I look at my marriage. Uh, it's like God. What I want. What do I want to do? I want to go back and warning very clear warning that if we we'll go back you are in problem then god should i stay or should i continue to move forward the continue move forward me you will continue to endure mm -hmm. i look i look at i look down i look mm -hmm. back since you see the first one the the eight you see the uh, second one, the marriage. I look at my accounts. I'm telling you physically, because I did something one day in Facebook that I would never forget about 15 years ago. I would never forget in my life. Oh, do not let me disagree. Maybe 13, within 13 and 15 years ago. That's why I'm so, I'm very blunt about what I'm saying. I look at my accounts. I see 4,000 debts. That's 4 million mm. Nigeria debts. I look down, I look up. Then I see that everything is, is collapsing. Uh, I think my arrow called me purposely for something he was recently alone with me. Okay, this did this, 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 okay. Maybe you come and see me. Uh, but today I was thinking when we came that, okay. And then I look at my, my I'm very sorry to see this online. But I want to let you know that there are a lot of time you face a lot of tribulation or uh, trial. Please don't be weary. The joy of the Lord will continue to be your strength in Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. Then I look my my son. I always every you always see that I'm boasting of him. Then this grace is coming down. Ah, what are where I am. Mm. So you can see my head. You see the financial situation. You see the marriage. You see the the song and then today i i continue moving on especially because the warning i was receiving from god then i continue today today i was not thinking god what do you want i'm somebody that i only do want to be myself and that's my pride my my arrow always proud of me he said you know why i love you you always be yourself any situation so i look at what where i'm going to say before the people now if i was called and the song came to my mind. Majeri o o ho, majeri o lugbala, majeri o o o, majeri onti o ya mi ya Jesus, majeri onti o ya mi ya Jesus. And I decided that, that that would be the main thing everyone of four are going to pray about this morning. We now call upon the name of the Lord. Just say prayer, Pastor. That for pray one day, I will never forget. It's like, why, oh God, do you can this man pray about this prayer? I think I can't remember the the, the the song. I mean, this prayer very well. He pray about money. The other something of money that if when you have money, that money can become a problem. Uh -huh. It can even take you away from God. So uh -huh. why I say do not uh -huh. think about the negativity of, of what I. Thought about myself, think about another thing too that can take you away from God. As you are spiritually singing that song, and as you have and I remember the, 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 the John, Jesus Christ are dead. They now went to the river. They forget the assignment of feeding my sheep. They forget it totally. Oh, and they now mm. went to the, they went to the river to come and to go and be catching, mm. catching fish. If not the glory of the Lord that called them back. You now call upon the name of the Lord, the Almighty Father. The year remain a little thing whatsoever that we take out 
I remember a story. I don't know if I've told us once. There was a story. Maybe that, that one we just I, we may not pray for so that one. we just pray for us. Okay, I have three minutes. There was a story. That a man was rich, but he he, he, he doesn't know God. Mm. Then another mm. man was not rich, but he knows God very well. Then one day, the one that no, no do not know God, but ask money. Look at everything he asked and decided that I will go down to see my brother that does not know God to show me the way so that I can know God. Meanwhile, at the same time, the brother that is downstairs was thinking, I've been serving God for so long. Enough is enough. I will go up and ask my brother to show me how to make money. Unfortunately, before two of them met, they died. Mm. But the story was telling us because the mind of the one that no God already has changed. Mm. I've gone away from God. I forbid. Couldn't make it to the heaven. But mm. the one that does not know God, that his mind is still, the, the mind that is at that particular time of looking for God, it, 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 it was him to make it to heaven. So, in little time that it may remain, mm. it will call upon the name of the Lord. Oh, mighty Father, well, in, no in, no, in no situation, in no in no circumstances, I, I will go away from the Lord in the name of Jesus Christ. Let us open our mouth. Let's call upon the name of the Lord. Let us open our mouth. Let's call upon the name of the Lord. Let us open our mouth. Let us call upon the name of the Lord. Let us open our mouth. Let us call upon the name of the Lord. Let us open our mouth. Let us call upon the name of the Lord. Let us open our mouth. Let us call upon the name of the Lord. Let us open our mouth. Let us call upon the name of the Lord. Let us open our mouth. Let us call upon the name of the Lord. Let us open our mouth. Let us call upon the name of the Lord. Let us open our mouth. Let us call upon the name of the Lord. Let us open our mouth. Let us call upon the name of the Lord. Let us open our mouth. Let us call upon the name of the Lord. Let us open our mouth. As far as that for is Sunday or uh, off, I want you to pray for one of our sisters. She has been helping us a lot. I don't like to be mentioning his name so that uh, we will not feel that. Um, uh, uh, okay, uh, we understand what I'm what I'm saying. The Almighty God will continue to bless her in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. The, the grace of the Lord will continue to be upon her in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Eternal Father, we will thank you for the hour of prayers. Thank you, thank you Holy Spirit, because despite the challenge of the devil, you, you keep us standing. Amen. Yes. Lord, Lord Jesus, we are praying that the strength needed to carry on, the strength not to be weakened along this journey. Lord, give us mm -hmm. in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 We discover that the closer we are to you, the, the bigger the the bigger the attack from the enemy. Ah, but Lord, the Bible says, they that know their God shall yeah. be strong and do exploits. Oh, yes. My God and my Father will look up unto you. And we pray, Lord, we will not fall. Yeah. We will not falter. We will not fall on you. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Lord, what will be our joy? When at the end you come, and the circumstance of this heart 
are so weary us down that we could not make it. Come I could say we will be of all men most miserable. Mm. Lord, the Bye-bye, failure man. of this world cannot save us. Mm. The promotion of this life cannot help us. Mm. Holy Spirit, Lord, the only thing that can help us is access to heaven. Lord, mm. we pray and we ask, Lord, that you give us that grace in the name of Jesus. Amen. The grace to look above what is happening beyond us. Uh-uh. Mm. Is there looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith? Mm. Disposing what is happening to us. Our eyes is fixed, oh God. Lord, we mm. pray that you will hold us. We will not Amen. fail in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, we pray that you will give us victory every day in the Amen. name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. And now we pray that our life uh. will shine upon all other lives and we begin Amen. to show them the way in the name Amen. of Jesus. Amen. Amen. We will not die before our time. Amen. And every time you call out to glory, we will come with multitude of people in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. The multitude of people does not mean that we will kill persons, but the fruit will be returned back to you in the name Amen. of Jesus. Amen. That commission you have given unto us, we will not lack behind. Amen. Whatever means. Our other means, whichever way, Holy Spirit, give us the grace to carry other assignment hundred percent in the Amen. name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. And Lord, as we are doing for you, you do for us too. Thank you, Amen. Holy Spirit. Because Thank we you, know Father. you have answered our prayers. Thank in you, Lord. Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen. 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 If you have said Amen, then say louder, Amen. 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 Uh, please, uh, please, please, just one minute, sir. Please, I need to say something here. Can I say, sir? Can I say, sir? Say it. I don't know. Say it. I think people are ready. Uh, what are a, uh, what pastor, 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 uh, pastor Ojo, please, if uh, it is personal uh, something, hold on. If it is no, something no, general, no. or that is public no. prayer meeting, you understand? So if something personal, please hold on. Pastor prayer meeting, we actually have to uh, talk something, some such things out. But if something it's prayer meeting for general, uh, it's okay. You understand? Okay. Thank you. But but it's not, it's, but it's not my personal something. No, but when we you call me, sir, I will explain to you. It's okay. It's okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Pastor. Thank you. Please, pastors, don't forget tomorrow, pastors' prayer meeting. Let's all try to be involved and call other other pastors and other uh, key leaders to be in pastors' prayer meeting tomorrow. Thank you so much. Over to you, Pastor Maoga. Pastor Matthew, sir. Uh, praise the Lord. Uh, another mm-hmm. testimony. Just one second. And then you, you cannot believe. And I see a person reporting me to another prophet that this person this did this did this, 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 this and the, the message was sent to me but the joy of the lord will continue to have our strength in jesus name the joy is narrow but i want you to know you are going to make it in the name Amen. of the lord let's share Amen. the grace together the grace of our lord jesus christ the love of christ and the sweet quality of the holy spirit be that now and forever more Amen. 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 Thank you. God 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 be with you in Jesus' name. Thank you for Amen. Amen. Our testimony will be full in Jesus' name. Amen. No tire, no victory. No investment, no uh, profit. So everything mm. we are doing is trial. We are going to see victory. Mm. Everything we are doing is investment. We are going to have profit. If Amen. there's no trial, there's no testimony. That's what I mm. want you to know. So hold on to your God and the joy that Lord will continue to be your strength in Jesus. Thank you. Amen. God bless you, sir. Thank you. Amen.